Hi there, my name is Shayna, and today I'll be walking you through the part release workflow and recommended best practices when using Formlabs Build Platform 2L. Our large format build platform with quick release technology for instant removal of parts without tools. Build Platform 2L is compatible with both our large format 3D printers, Form 3L and 3BL, as well as with most Formlabs resins and is certified biocompatible. I'll be going over tips and tricks for job setup and preform, followed by a demonstration of how to remove parts using Build Platform 2L. Then finally, I'll take you through best practices for cleaning and maintenance. Let's start with Preform, the easy to use software that preps your design for 3D printing. For the fastest post-processing, consider printing your parts directly to Build Platform 2L as long as they don't require supports. When printing with supports, be sure to use full rafts with Build Platform 2L since mini rafts can be difficult to remove from the flexible print surface, which could result in broken support tips. As Build Platform 2L only bends in one direction during part removal, it's important to align the long edge of your parts perpendicular to the bend axis of the Build Platform for a better release. To do this in preform, simply orient the long edge of your part parallel to the front of your build seam. Please note that small parts, or parts that are less than 30 millimeters, don't consistently release using Build Platform 2L. These parts can always be removed using a scraper, or you can overlap the rafts to form one larger part for instant release. Once your print job is complete, it's time to remove your printed parts from the Build Platform 2L. Depending on your parts, there are several ways to do this. For smaller parts, I generally like to place the Build Platform on its side and engage the push tabs downwards flipping the platform over if needed to engage the push tabs on the opposite side. For large, tall, or heavier parts, I place the build platform flat on the table and then push both tabs on each long side at the same time. I've also found that if I want to ensure the part remains on the raft even after releasing, I can push one tab at a time to better control the release. For this print, I'll remove the parts directly on the table by pushing inwards on the two tabs closest to me, followed by the back two tabs if the part still hasn't been released. After you remove your parts, you will notice some residual resin left on the surface of the build platform as well as underneath the flexible sheet. If you are not changing resins for your next print, you can simply wipe down the top surface with a bit of IPA and a paper towel. The platform does not need to be perfectly clean, but you do want to make sure there aren't any hard bits of resin left on the print surface before starting your next print. Now, if you are switching between resins or you are not planning to print with the build platform for the next few weeks, you will need to remove the flexible print surface and clean all surfaces thoroughly. Again, this can be done with a paper towel and IPA by hand, or you can use the Form Wash L by removing the flexible print surface and placing it in the Form Wash L basket with the build platform body on the forks. If your part isn't too tall, you can also partially unhinge one side of the flexible print surface and place the build platform body on the forks for an even easier cleaning process. To remove the flexible print surface, lift the two front tabs towards yourself and then push one of the back tabs away from you. This will disengage the print surface from the build platform body. Again, you'll notice that there is some resin underneath the print surface and that is totally normal and will happen with every print. This does not affect part quality or print success and only needs to be cleaned when switching resins or when you plan on going several weeks without printing. When you're finished cleaning the surfaces, you'll need to reattach the flexible print surface to the platform body. To do this, you'll want to align one side of the print surface with the channel on the build platform and then rotate the surface down onto the body. It should self-align, but you can flex and release the build platform to ensure the surface snaps back into the correct position. Build Platform 2L is a valuable tool to help you streamline your 3D printing process. To learn more all about our industry-leading SLA printing products, please visit formlabs.com.